thank you, we praise you, we worship you. Had it been for you, this event will not happen. Had it not been for you, we will not arrive here safely. We know the devil is always roaming around looking for who to devour. But you have made this happen, Father, we've come to give you thanks. It is called Hallelujah, glory to your holy name. We've come to give you thanks. We come to give you honor, power, adoration. We have come to join our sister, Sister Busola, to come and give you thanks. We are entering your gate with thanksgiving. We are entering your court with praises, O oh Lord. Father, your mercy for the sake of Christ. Come and inhibit the praise of your the praises of your people. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, come down in your mighty power. Oh, your manifest presence in this place, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your heavens open to us, Father. We know that when you visit, miracles happen. You are God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. You came down in the pool and you fellowship with Abraham. Father, come and fellowship with us, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. As you fellowship with friends, because we know in your presence there is fullness of joy and love everlasting, O oh Lord. We know we are delivered and we receive our prayer possessions in your presence. Father, come and dwell with us. Is there something that will stop this presence of God in this place? But adventure we have sinned against you. For the sake of Christ that he died for us on the cross of Calvary. For his blood that he has shed for us. Come and have mercy and forgive us. Let your mercy rule over judgment. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We are not unaware of the ways and devices of the evil one. But we serve a God whose power is above all powers and principalities. Every contrary spirit in this place, God of Elijah, consumed with fire. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Holy Spirit, take control. Take preeminence that we may pray the mind of God. Father, we thank you. We put your servants that will be sharing your word in your hand. Father, speak through him. We will not hear you, but we will hear the God in him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, he has made himself accessible unto you. Let him be a word this verse unto you today. Use him to the glory of your holy name. He has opened his mouth, Father, fill it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even control his tongue, O oh Lord. That as he speaks your word, O oh Lord, it will be like that of a ready writer. In the mighty name of Jesus, take absolute control. Even as he's done with your word, every avenging spirit, Father, destroy in the Holy Ghost fire. Father, we put the choir in your hand. Sanctify this house, O oh Lord. Purify this house, O oh Lord. Because your eyes behold no iniquity. That you may come and you may send ministering angels to sing with them. And sing through them. The mighty name of Jesus, that the song and the praises that we give will be like a sweet smell and a fragrance unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not look and say, Look at this resounding symbol. That will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Concerning your daughter, Sister Busola, she has looked and known that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Like the reward of the leper, come and make her joy full. Come and make her joy complete. In the mighty name of Jesus, from glory to glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. As for us, oh Lord, that we have come to praise you with her. We have come to wish her well. Just as David strayed unto for his people, our joy will be full. We will rejoice and be glad. Because we have favored her righteous cause. In 
the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We decrease for you to increase. Come and take all the glory. Let the devil take the shape. And the children of God will be delivered and take our blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah to the Lord. Because of the faithfulness of God that they were who they are. God has been so gracious. Some of us, some people, you know, when they want to celebrate any of those things, instead of being in the presence of the Lord, they do it otherwise. And that is how we know maybe you are a true child of God or not. So tonight, please, I want us to sing the song, Great is the Faithfulness. For past 50 years, into the life of our sister, he has been so faithful. For past 23 years, you have been so faithful concerning the family, concerning their marriage. So let's shout a big hallelujah.
said in all time we should give thanks to God. That's the will of God. And it takes doing the will of God to obtain the promise of God. So for Sister Abusola, happy birthday to you. And I bless God on your behalf. There's nothing we can do more than thanking God. No, you can pray in a week, but nobody can praise in a week. So we're going to say praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Take you out in the name of Jesus. And the family 
thing that has called us to celebrate tonight, celebration will never cease from your house. We pray all the days of your life, the children God has given to you, they will not be a victim of this environment. We pray that God will grant them grace to withstand every peer pressure. We pray for you, Sister Abusola, you will not be taken in the midst of your days. You will fulfill your days on earth in the name of Jesus. Same thing with your husband, you will not bury your children in the name of Jesus. And we pray for this church, nobody will be buried, no untidy dead will be recorded in the name of Jesus. According to the book of Psalm 79, if we have anyone that has been, that has been appointed today, Lord, we commit it into your hands. God, let it be taken out in the name of Jesus. We pray that God there to be recorded here in the name of Jesus. No if and death to be recorded here. We are all covered by the blood of Jesus. When we go back home, we go with blessing. None we live with empty hand in the name of Jesus. It is well with us. It is well with everything that concerns us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Uh, let us sit down. Uh, my task is to give a welcome address. I don't have any address. But I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Holy Spirit. And I pray that your attendance tonight will be recorded in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, well, thank you for joining our Deacon and Deaconesses uh, in their celebration. Uh, it's uh, 50 years, golden jubilee, and uh, 23 years of uh, blissful marriage. Bless marriage. Amen. We thank God on their behalf. Congratulations Deacon. Congratulations Deaconess. And congratulations the children. Amen. And congratulations Enlightenment Church of God. Amen. On behalf of uh, the church, our pastor, Pastor Dr. Adenia, you know, we welcome all our guests. Uh, this is uh, your father's house. You are not a guest in the, in the presence of God. Uh, this is Enlightenment Church of God. Here we are commissioned to enlighten our eye of understanding as commissioned in uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. And we do this through prayer, through praises, and uh, through the study of the word of God. Uh, mostly we come here on Tuesdays. So if you a chance, you can join us online or you can come here where we uh, dig deep into the word of God. Uh, God Almighty will bless all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as you are here tonight, uh, don't forget tomorrow uh, we are still going to be here as well. So please uh, join us before we go to the reception. As uh, the pastor have decreed, you will not be given the address until after the service here tomorrow. Amen. Praise God. Uh, let us uh, all sit down and enjoy the celebration. Uh, there's going to be a presentation, so I have the privilege of uh, uh, welcoming uh, Dr. Adi Kwanla to umpire the presentation. May God Almighty bless all of us in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I believe we can do better than that. I know we are still warming up. We are still going to shout 50 hallelujah here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
came to my mind when the worship was going on and I saw our Dickiness rolling on the floor. She's the only one that knows why she's rolling on the floor. When you look back, 50 years is no joke. A lot of things has happened. A lot of people, they started together. They are no more today. We are not using it to mock them. She's not here by her own power. It's by the grace, it's by the mercy of God. So that was the song that came to my mind while she was running on the floor. And the joy that the Lord has given you today, that joy will not run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. You always have reasons to celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus. We have celebrated 1050. We will celebrate 100. In the land of the living, in good health, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have a some presentations. We're not going to take too much of our time. We are here to praise God. It's a praise night. Praise the Lord. Uh, without taking too much of our time, uh, first of all, uh, we have a lot of people from the choir presenting. Uh, the first person I'm going to is a world renowned singer and songwriter. Praise the Lord. We don't have his album. I believe the album is still at the back there. So if any one of us, especially the ministers, we have our homes we want to buy, praise the Lord. So I'm inviting our brother here for the first presentation. Let's give him a round of Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Amen, somebody. Are we happy to be here this night? It's a night of celebration, amen. amen. We are thanking God on behalf of our darling sister, Sister Abusola Falano, and the became Falano for the unexplain unexplainable grace of God in their lives. 50 years is not a joke, amen. amen. The word of God says in the book of Psalms 90, I believe verse 12, it says, teach us to, count, to number our days that our will may gain a heart of wisdom. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, we are here tonight, you know, just to render praise and worship unto the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes. What shall I say unto the Lord? Oh, this day.
Yeah. 
for your blessings upon their lives. Hallelujah.
language. The summary of the whole thing is we are just praising God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's as far as I can translate. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, as they were singing the Ekiti song, I just realized that Ekiti, they are the the two brothers to the Egyptians. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> they just copied most of our songs. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we still continue in our praise. Uh, I invite our very own sister, uh, Sister Tolu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Says, Father, are you tired yet? Oh. The body is still ongoing. The praise is still ongoing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Alone. To the house.
say praise night. Yeah. I believe you know what praise night is. Yeah. 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 Now you have to sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. I'm sure some of us have lost five pounds, ten pounds to Amen. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to call on Sister Alex. I'm going to cool up the atmosphere. I think it's going to warm everyone so we make kind of an AC for the moment. <laughs> so we have 1 Chronicles 16, verse 15 says, God remembers his covenant forever. The promise he made for a thousand generations. So we're going to introduce you this song is I Remember from Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Feel free to join with us and remember all the goodness that God has done in your life despite all the circumstances. Amen. Hallelujah. It's so easy to forget the victories of the past and focus on the trials of the moment. It's so easy to complain and talk about the pain and forget his goodness and his mercy. But when I look over my shoulder to see how far you brought me it's so clear you have been faithful all along so i will not hold back my worship even through the rage of storms i will open up my mouth and give you praise
upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, please don't be in a hurry. This is not uh, a celebration of uh, sisters. Maybe if it's a sister, it will be maybe one hour. But uh, we are celebrating Dickness and Dickin. So, amen. So, the next, uh, if you are looking at your program, we we'll see the next item is uh, Bible readings. So I'm going to call on Sister Omolara to come and read the first uh, Bible reading, followed by Daniel for the second Bible reading. Amen. Bible reading. The first Bible reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians 5, 12-23. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are all over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And be at peace among yourselves, and to exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sancti sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved, blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, the second Bible reading will be taken from Psalm 34, verse 1 to 15. And it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their face were not ashamed. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, yea, ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guilt. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon open unto their cry. May God bless the reading of the Lord. Amen.
liberty in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We can see the glory of God, the beauty of God in everyone's faces. And I just want to appreciate the man of God and the woman of God in the house. Thank you for the privilege and I want to congratulate Dickens Falano, my dear sister, and uh, Dickens Falano for this wonderful occasion. Amen. God has spared your life to see 50th years on this face of the earth. This, this God indeed is an awesome God. It's an awesome God. And um, the, the song that our brother sang when he was here, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, that kind of captured the essence of what God, because I've known them for a, a while, and I know their journey, and I know that if had him been for God, yeah. what would they be saying now? Yeah. They probably wouldn't be even be around. But God has been faithful, yeah. and uh, this awesome God that we serve, it needs to be celebrated. So we are celebrating the goodness of God in your life. We are celebrating the goodness of God in your family. God, indeed, is a faithful God. Let's, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this hour this moment that you have given us the privilege to hear your words lord jesus i don't have any word you are the word and i ask that you will hover and root on your word and your word will benefit we 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 bring life into us today as we hear it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, I ask that you will take control of every heart, take control of my mouth and the word of my heart, and take control of the hair of those that are hearing it, and let your word be a blessing unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Again, congratulations. That song said again, I'm going to sing it when I think. Oh, the goodness of Jesus And all he has done for me My glory is so strong Hallelujah Praise God for That's the word that the Holy Spirit dropped in my heart to encourage the celebrants and every one of us. Man is tied to forget not its benefit. It's very simple words. This is Enlightenment Church. I know the church is well taught. So we are not going into uh, uh, all the uh, doctrine and theology tonight. But simply just to say forget not all its benefit. And if you read that psalm, again, it captures the essence of everything, why you need to thank him. And when you don't forget, don't be like the Israelite. The Israelite, one of the uh, shortcomings of them is they forget. God did a lot of miracles in their life. By his mighty hand, he delivered them from slavery. But what did they do? Immediately they got into the wilderness, they forgot. They started telling Moses, you should have left us behind. You should have just left us alone. We were enjoying ourselves. We were having so much fun. And again, that's human being. Some of us, you know, when God has done miracle for you, 
you are always in the moment and you rejoice and say, God, you are awesome. I will serve you the rest of my life. I will never serve any other God. But then let a little challenge come into your life again. You forgot about God. Not forgetting his benefit is very good for us because one, if we go into that psalm, the first thing it says is, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. What does it mean to bless the Lord? How can you bless God? God who created heaven and the earth. So God blesses us. But here the psalmist is actually commanding you and I to bless him. Meaning to appreciate him for his worthiness, his, his grace, his power to appreciate him for that. That's what the psalmist is saying. What are you going to give to God? You don't have enough money to bring to God. Although, yes, we says again here, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. All. All. It's an all and an all encompassing words. All that is within me. Meaning your soul, your body, your spirit, your substance, everything that you have. All. Bless his holy name. It's not just about dancing. We've done a lot of dancing and we praise him. But bless the Lord, oh my soul. Out of your soul. Purposely. Your soul is when you purpose, you have to purpose in your heart, in your soul that you want to bless the Lord. Some of us, we dance for the entertainment value of the music. We shouldn't do that. When you, every time you come to the house of God, you are blessing him. In, in worship, your worship to him is you blessing him. When you fellowship with believers here, you are blessing the Lord. When you tell others about Jesus Christ, you are blessing the Lord. So when God says, when Simon says, bless the Lord, God has done so much for him. And if you go to verse 2, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, all his benefits, all his benefits. And when you go further, you see, begin to itemize all those benefits that you have received from the Lord. And I can say, I can, as I'm standing, I know every one of us here, you've benefited from the goodness of the Lord. Otherwise, you won't be here. Your breath, the breath that you have in you is because of God's grace. It's because of God lost for you. It's because God answers prayer. You know, God has been good to you, the Father and family, and God has been good to all of us as the family of God in this as in this assembly. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget all not all his benefits. He said, Who forgiveth all thy iniquities and healeth all thy disease? iniquity, meaning your sin, your repeated sin, it forgave you. If you remember, that's again, when we go back to that song, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for you, the number one thing he does for you is that he saves your soul. Thanks, praise God for saving my soul. And I, my, my brother and my sister, I know that the salvation of God is what has brought you this far. If not for Jesus in your life, I don't know where will you be, where will you will have been if not for Jesus. But not only that Jesus saves you, but he planted you where you can be watered. And because you are watered, you begin to grow and you begin to develop. And that calls for joy, that calls for celebration, that calls for blessing the Lord. When you find, and my soul, I find a resting place, not in defies or creed but in a place where you can be well taught and where you can grow is a blessing and you have found such you are fine and my brother you found favor anyone that found good wife the bible says find favor you found favor in the eyes of god and god has favored you you know that song we always sing i didn't know you will honor me this way i didn't know you will honor me this way i didn't know This Psalm 34 that Brother Daniel read for us. It says, My your is pressure continually. It's not just for three days, it's forever. Amen. As long as there is breath in you, you ought to praise him. Every one of us, as long as there's breath in us, we should praise him. 
We should praise him in the morning, praise him in the noon time, praise him at night, praise him every time. Again, the, 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 the Thessalonian that you read, it says, continually pray without ceasing and praise him continually, thank him continually. You know, God has favored you. God has bestowed his benefit upon your life and you need to continue to serve him and to praise him. He forgave all our sins. The Bible says if we mark iniquity, who among us here can stand? If God is saying, well, if anybody is a sinner here, I believe every one of us are sinners, saved by his grace, and he forgave us your iniquity. And because he forgave you your iniquity, you have access to the Father through Jesus Christ. He made you a son of the Most High. You can go to him and say, have a father, because sin can separate you from Christ. But Paul says, what can separate us? Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ because he has bestowed the benefit of forgiveness of all your sin. Your past, he has forgotten. Your sin, he remembers no more. And he has brought you to a place of blessings. And he has bestowed his blessings upon you. Forget not his benefit. Forget not his benefit. He forgiveth all your iniquities. Who and it heal all your diseases. You know, especially in this day and age, when you see, you know, now they say there's a monkey post. There's all kind of craziness going on out there. But God, because you are under the shadow of his wing, he protects you and your household and the entire church of God. We are not mourning. See everybody dancing and rejoicing and praising the Lord for what he has done. Our God is a good God. Our God is a good he truly, truly loves us. And I'm so glad that you appreciate and you say, you know what? I just want to bless him. I just want to praise him. It is a good thing to praise the Lord. It is a good thing. So he has forgiven your sin. He has healed your disease. He has redeemed your life from destruction. He has crowned you with his loving kindness and tender mercy. And not only that, he satisfies your mouth with good things so that that youth is renewed like that of the Negro. You can just look at my sister. You'll see the glory of God. Every time I see her, I say, you're just getting younger and younger every day. You, know, you, won't, you, won't, you, won't, you won't know she's 50. And it's also my brother. I don't want to leave you behind. <laughs> He's getting younger too. That's God renewing them. That's the power of Holy Spirit. You know, the, the, the Bible says the Holy Spirit will quicken your mortal body. Mortal body is your physical body. The Holy Spirit quicken your mortal body. Most of us don't know that. That's one of what the Holy Spirit does. You are just getting younger because the Holy Spirit is renewing you. It's refreshing you. Praise be to the Lord. So that's what God, I, do, I just want you today as we are celebrating, don't let it be lost to you that it is God that has brought you this far. It is God that has been with you. It is God that has covered you and your entire household. It is God that has not made this church to mourn over them. Hmm. Instead, we are rejoicing with them. All the glory be unto our God. So forget not all his benefit. Then what do you do when you don't forget the benefit of the law? What you do is, the psalm says, I will take the, uh, the bell of salvation. And that's, that's the charge to you. Because you have not forgotten its benefit, you broadcast that benefit to the world. You let the world know that I'm a Christian. You let the world know that I have seen the downfall of Satan. I have seen the goodness of Jesus. God has lifted me. He's the lifter of my head. He is the, my strength. It's my shield and it's my buckler. You got to let the whole world know. You got to do it tirelessly. And all of you, my young, uh, young ones, I know it's the, some of the young ones they are looking at. Why, why is mommy rolling on the floor? Why is all this thing? And some of us are saying, why are we singing so many songs? Because eternity is not enough to praise him. Angels in heaven are praising him. Yes, and we ought to praise him. We ought to rejoice in his presence. God has dealt bountifully with you, my brother and my sister. God has bestowed to you honor befitting 
of a queen, my sister. God is worthy of our praise. I don't want to waste our time. I just want us to keep in mind that it is God. That is, it is by his grace. As he said in that lamentation. It is because of him that we are not consumed. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord. We would have been consumed if not for the grace of God. But we thank God for his grace upon your life. I thank God for the miracle that he's doing. Particularly, I thank God for your standing the Lord. That gives me joy every day. Every time I talk to them, that's my first, that's the question that we talk about. How are you in the Lord? And I know they are occupied for the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, they are asking him, he said, occupy till I come. And that's the message for every one of us. Occupy till he comes. You know, the race is not just a, it's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And the strength to run that race, only God can give. And when you are running that race, he says, run it with endurance. That's what he says uh, in, in Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 12. He says, run that race with endurance. Don't, don't fade away. Don't let anyone uh, be an offense to you. Don't be offense to anyone. You and Christ. That's what it should be. As you are celebrating this milestone birthday, remember, there is still plenty more distance to go. You have gone through a lot. God has seen you through. That same God is faithful. Amen. And he will carry you to the end. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Amen. His grace is sufficient for you. Amen. It's God of all grace. God of all grace. Whatever you need, just trust him. He is able. And everyone here, trust him. Some of us, we are yet to be 40. Some of us are 50. Some of us are 60. Whatever age you are, remember, God's got you. Amen. He's got you. Amen. You don't need to worry. Amen. Don't worry, he's got you. He's got your back. Amen. He's got your back. You can depend on him. Amen. So, and I prayed for you that heaven is open over your life. Amen. And there will be abundance of rain. Even in your new year, strength will come over you. Amen. Thank you for giving me this privilege. Amen. So I'm going to call Dr. Pastor, Pastor Dr. Ayin to come and pray. That you have spoken. Bless our life individually in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, when you serve God, you make the job easier for the pastor. It's not a good thing for pastors to stand on the pulpit and be my sin word. Amen. Are you here with me? Yes. It's not a good thing. And that's why I appeal to everyone. Always do good. That's why I brought that scripture there. So it makes the job easier for the man of God. Amen? Amen. Uh, if you don't know Dickness Falano and Dickin Falano, lift up your hand. If you don't know them in this church. <laughs> Amen? Dickin Falano always leave the church together with me every Sunday. Amen? For the past one week, he has been leaving me alone. And I know the reason. <laughs> I'm not angry because of this celebration. Amen? Yeah. I know he's putting things together. You see, I, I thank God for Pastor. Today, God bless you, sir. I'm going to pray for this family. I'll keep my word to tomorrow. <laughs> Psalm 90, verse 12. It was the Psalm of Moses. Psalm 90, verse 12. He said, Teach us how to remember our days. So that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Amen. Now, you don't know your days. Moses was trying to let you understand that you need to gain wisdom because of the brevity of life. Life is so brief. And he wants you to gain your heart unto wisdom. So that you can make choice. Knowing fully whether the choices we make while we are here on earth has eternal consequences. And that is why. I thank God for the choice you have made, Mama. Amen. Somebody was speaking with me yesterday. Said he has never seen a place where they are spending doing birthday for three years. I said because signs and wonder are happening in our church. Amen. If you have never seen it, you have seen it now. Amen? Amen. And I started thinking of it. I said it's true. I've never seen a place where they are doing birthday and they say Hallelujah night. First thing, seventeen verse thirteen is your word, Mama. You, he said. First thing said, he said, and Elijah said unto her, fear not, go 
and do as thou hast said, or make me therefore a little cake first. Make me a little cake first, and bring unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. If you go to 14, there was a prophecy that came right there. For thus said the Lord, not the man. God always said man. Amen? Amen. And when a man is speaking a word that God has told him, he doesn't need to share it as this is his own word. Thus says the Lord. God said, I should tell you that the barrel of meal, glima suta libra de gaba, shall not waste. Amen. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail. Amen. Until the day that Lord sent rain upon the earth. What is it in your life that is not enough when you decide to do God thing first? Holy shit, the meaning. So the word of the book. Give me the New Living Translation so you can get the meaning very well. New Living Translation. For this is what the Lord said I should tell you. That you put it first for celebrating your 50th birthday and marking 23rd anniversary of your wedding. The God of Israel said I should tell you that we always be flower. Amen. And only oil left in your container until the time when the Lord sent rain and the crop grow again. That shows you will not lack. Amen. Step forward with your family. Because you have done for God first, God will take care of the rest for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want all the ministers in the house to step forward and let's do this job together. And we pray for the church of God. We are marching forward. Thank you for those that you have used to organize this. Pastor Mrs. the choir and all the leadership of the church. Friends from there and far. And Father, we commit tomorrow into your hand. As you have been with us today, we are sure of you tomorrow. Because there is no future, there is no past in you. You combine the future and the past to the present. Because we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You cannot manifest less than being great. Because anything small speak less of our great God. Prove yourself tomorrow. Prove yourself on Sunday. Prove yourself in our life. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying for this family. And let them pray this day. The announcement is very simple. Tomorrow we'll be here. I don't want to disclose the place where we are going to do the reception. When you come to the church tomorrow, we will announce to you where the reception will take place. Amen? So, for that shows, church for us from there we go. If we don't come to church, we don't want the place to be full and church be empty. We will post the address. Amen? But uh, just around the corner there, at the back of P.C. Richard there. Amen? May God be with us in the name of Jesus. And um, tomorrow, 3 p.m. is the and church service. They are going to do birthday celebration and renewal of their vow in the presence of God. Amen? I was thinking I would be the best man before, but they said nothing like that. Amen? Because, so for those of you that are worshiping with us for the first time, this is the Church of God, where, where we are commissioned that the eye of our understanding may be enlightened. We have two services. First service 9 to 10 30. The second service is 11 30 to 1 30. So if you don't have a local church, this is the time to evangelize and bring people to the kingdom of God the more. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. Now, this Sunday we're having our service and uh, joint service, and that will be first Sunday, and the service starts 10 a.m. And may God help us in the name of Jesus. People of God, I want us to learn from this. I have been teaching you about kingdoms, the kingdom of God. There is nothing wrong when we celebrate. I talked about kingdom culture. Culture manifests in terms of values, standard, priority, and celebration. There is nothing wrong in Christian, in we Christian to celebrate. But the way we celebrate, how we celebrate, and what we celebrate is what makes us to be what? to be different. I may God help us in the name of Jesus. I can tell you that this family, they value God. That's why they make God first. Amen? Amen. They value their God and they set God as priority. And may good God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So tomorrow, I want our minister to be here. 
by 2.30 for our upper room prayer. And you know that we are going to do renewal of vow. No minister should come in native. If you come in native, you're not going to officiate. And you know that at the standard. If you like, I know you want to beg a little sorry because of bring it in your bag. You change in the bathroom when the service is over. They got their boss in the name of Jesus. Myself, I will put on my agbada, but I will put it in my office. Amen. As a Mrs. Khaled, you use our office to check because we don't want you to delay us at the party too. So our food will not get cold. We got that person in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So at this junction, we would like to thank, we thank all the instrumentalists. God bless you, choir. God bless you. For you celebrate your dignity and your dignities and you celebrate God. And the church of God, this is how to run a church, to be in unity. Are you listening to me? Jesus did not pray to prayer for his disciples. Just pray for them to be one. He didn't even pray. He said, I know that they will face persecution. But he didn't pray that they should take them out of the world. He prayed that they should remain in the, in the, in the world that is full of evil. But he prayed that they should be one. He knows that when they are one, they are stronger together. And that we are proving tonight. And we got a person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me bring in Daniel to the podium for the vote of time. Then I come back for the benediction. Amen. Amen. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself tonight, right? Yes. Yeah, all right. Um, so, on behalf of my family, uh, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to everyone that came tonight. And uh, thank you. We really appreciate you. Um, I also want to say a sincere thank you to the pastor and pastor missus for allowing us to host our Hallelujah Night here at Alignment Church of God. Yeah. Um, I also want to say thank you to the known and unknown hands like that help contribute to this program and like make it what it is tonight. Uh, God bless you as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you're not tired because tomorrow will be an even bigger day than today. And so everyone rest up and be prepared for tomorrow. Um, yeah, so thank you and uh, have a good night. Yourself in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we commit your hand concerning our lives and we pray by the power of the Almighty God that you will not lose control over us in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we are going home, Lord, go ahead of us. Amen. Get us ready to be back here assembly tomorrow. Amen. Not only you be present there tomorrow, you will preside over the affair. Amen. And you take the glory of yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. We can't sue any incident or accident, oh God. Amen. And bring your plan and purpose to come to pass in our life. Amen. Father, is there anyone here standing here trusting you for one thing or the other? Or is there anyone online watching us trusting you for one thing or the other? We make this praise of tonight a point of contact for such an individual. Amen. That you will bring the oil of godliness into where he or she is until in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let it be said that during this hallelujah night in celebration of 50th birthday and 23rd birthday anniversary of Dicky and Dickness Falano, this is what my God did. Amen. May I be the testimony in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Every long study you'll be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Because we have done your own first Lord, I pray. Flower will be available for us. Amen. Oil will be available for Amen. us. We will not lack anything good. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. In the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore.